and welcome to Retro Roulette, the show where we ask the question, where have all the merrymakers gone? I'm your flagpole sitter, Michael Riley. With me is uh, the sad sweetheart of the rodeo, Dane Forgione. That's not that's not my nickname. Carlotta Valdez, Jason Amherst. <laughs> and the private helicopter that is Billy Carter. Helicopter, helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> what are you? Helicopter, what are you helicopter. Doing? What are you doing? <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. Oh, yeah, Jason's in the studio. He can play the noise. <laughs> I don't have that noise on here anymore because it got content flagged. Oh, piss. On Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, that sucks. Knowing, hey, that, knowing that Twitch caught it, I'm like, YouTube would catch that in a heartbeat hey, and be like, so, uh, By the I, way, uh, I have, 20 I extra wanna, points. I actually want to get serious. 20 extra moment. points to all the listeners out there who uh, caught what band I was referencing. I actually want to get uh, serious for one moment. Just uh-huh. you, know. you can't be serious. Well, Wrong no, show. I can't be serious right now. Um, if you ever feel like you're having a bad day, you know, if life is getting you down, then you're Daniel Powell. Always stop and, well, hang on a second. Always stop and think, hey, I could be Jack Perry and have my fucking legs set on fire. That is, <laughs> that is very true. The, the, the beauty of that is we were making the joke all last night about like soon to be sold, sold on AEW shop.com. <laughs> sold. Showed on shop.com. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Money we Penny. were making the joke about that. It's like the, the Tony Khan endorsed AEW branded <laughs> flamethrower, which weirdly enough, like apparently that was Darby's personal flamethrower that he actually owned, yeah. which doesn't surprise me. Why'd you, why'd you stop the, 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 the oh, there? Because my controller disconnected and that means I have to restart the whole program. <laughs> oh, ah. no. <laughs> Wait, wait. Um, it's okay. It's fixed. You know, I was gonna say uh, controller disconnected. Oh no, that's. Uh... Wait, I, what I'll the just fuck? Say this, um, Giga Tetris, when Bio the, Tetris. <laughs> when it comes to flamethrowers, um, Spaceballs did it first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I want to do regular. That's, that was that was the joke the whole night. Was the the AEW branded flamethrower available on AEWshop.com? Limited to only ten. Because okay. there was a person in the front row with one of those two thousand five hundred dollar acclaimed trios belts that they only made ten of. Ah, oh, so that's where one of them was. Yeah. Where's the, where's the other nine jackasses? I feel like. Yeah, I know, right? By the way, I think it's kind of weird that we're now playing this, uh, and we played a, a version of this on <laughs> the last SNES roulette. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, that by the way, one was actually not uh, not too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. This one's not shaping I, up to be that bad either. I I do want to point out, by the way, uh, four vetoes is what we have right now. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, there is certainly some veto worthy stuff on the board. I mean, uh, there's a FIFA game, uh, NBA Live, NFL quarterback. I say, there's Club, a lot NHL. of football games. Um, but then there's also. Uh, some some gold on here too because uh i mean tarak 2 um gex. quake gex uh bust the move yeah you know and and uh i think the dark horse on the board get her love <laughs> get her get her love get her love which the, the, title, you know. the title alone is a pun on Getter Let, Robo. Let's get the love. <laughs> Which, for those who don't know, is a recently translated N64 game that uh, is made by Hudson Soft, the makers of Mario Party. That's right. It's a Mario Party-like dating sim. Yes. It's gonna be great. And, okay. And get it's, a robot. It's gonna be. It's gonna be freaking giant gold. robot. <laughs> yeah, get a robo is a giant robot. <laughs> that is awesome. The the one that I don't remember out of everything on this list is probably well two of them, scars and starshot space circus fever. Those don't stand out to me. Like I don't even think I saw those. Scars at my I think is a racing game, and starshot is a platformer. Who in, a, in, in a similar vein to games no, no, like Banjo. No, no, Uno Kazooie. is on your Xbox. It's not on my Xbox. I don't have. You it. have Uno. Yeah. You know, Scars I don't is. Don't have Uno. 
<laughs> I'm in soup! <laughs> Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? <laughs> are you? <laughs> Where are the turtles? I feel like cream of mushroom would be pretty flattering right now to my <laughs> to my size. You know, <laughs> I kind of I kind of see you in a nice like fall color like uh, gazpacho. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah. <laughs> I thought gazpacho was more of a summer soup, you know, because it's it's served cold. <laughs> like my heart. <laughs> nah, that's Vichy Swap. You're cold. <laughs> You're, Billy, don't pretend you know what that word means. <laughs> I know what Vichy Swap is. I've ate it before. It's I, I good. like I like a you nice uh, <laughs> I like I, I like a nice uh creamy uh clam chowder. Yeah, New England clam chowder. Chowder Chowder Chowder. I'm gonna Say enjoy it right, this. Frenchie. <laughs> oh, it's a nice and extra thick. Just like extra me. Extra thick. Oh, Holy the guy shit. from Massachusetts likes clam chowder. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> it was only a recent thing, like a few years ago. I had it on the Cape, of all places. I usually eat so, my soup in a bowl. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I fucking knew you were going to say that. I don't know why you're messing with Batman's cape, man. I don't know. Alfred. <laughs> Alfred, why is there a gazpacho on my cape, Alfred? <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am the knight. I, I am the knight and also a cold tomato soup. <laughs> I said, fast away. Your, your cape soaked up this boat very well. Marshall. Marshall White. Marshall White. <laughs> did you know? Did you know, Marshall White? That I was Marshall in the movie White. Doors 4 and it fucking sucked. It fucking sucked. Marshall White. It's true. Marshall White. Uh, there we go. I, uh, I, uh, I just threw it in the uh, chat uh, for the program. Uh, versus the chat channel. That way, uh, that way we can actually have the list side by side with the games if uh, it lands on one of our picks. Oh, look at that! I'm promoting. I'm promoting Jace to honorary super handsome nice guy of the month. Okay. Yeah. Are you saying oh, he wasn't? You. He wasn't super handsome before. Well, he now he's even more super handsome. Oh, oh no, okay. because he, because he looked like a looked like uh, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> wow, I looked, Billy! I looked like uh, I looked like Deadpool until I got my uh, psoriasis injection. You look like you face fucked the topical topographical map of Utah. Exactly. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, that's how I felt at least, In you know, the with the summer. scars and shit on my face. Say you haven't seen the movie <laughs> without saying you haven't seen the movie, Dave. <laughs> I was about to say that's very oddly specific. It's in the movie. That's, that's literally, a literally a line from the okay, movie. Okay, well, full disclosure: it's been a while since I've seen the Deadpool movies. I don't so know. Better refresh they on are, them since uh, the, they, the third one is. Uh, they are on being... FX. Uh, the first one is aired on FX all the time. <laughs> yeah, uncensored. Yeah, they're on Disney Plus. <laughs> that's my favorite thing: is that they air on FX uncensored. I will say I'm getting very excited for Deadpool and Wolverine. Same. Me too. And yeah. he's in the freaking suit. He's in a the actual the yellow suit. Yep. With the mask. He I'm wondering mask if we are going to get a cameo of somebody else in oh, the will. brown suit. Hmm. Who pooped in the suit? <laughs> <laughs> Who pooped last? <laughs> At this point, they were like, well, what about it? I said, I don't care what color suit Wolverine wears. I just want him in that suit. And, and Warner Brothers I, said, well, well, that's cool, but we don't have the rights to Marvel. That's Disney. All I can say is this. All I want is for Cable to show up at the end and be like, I'm actually kind of jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the one thing that bothers me about this Tetris game is that it feels like it was just ported over from Windows 95. Kinda. With, mm -hmm. with its, with well, its I am only playing, currently only playing, like, basic Tetris. Tetris. 
Like there are other modes apparently. Smackdown yeah. 3D mode. There was a hell of a deal on uh, limited run games. They found a bunch of shit in their warehouse, and uh, they're like, "Hey, Hundreds we have only a few copies left of these. Buy, buy a bag uh, of shit, ten dollars." They actually do have a mystery box. It could even be a bowl. You you <laughs> don't know what game you're getting, but it's going to be a limited run game. I make that fucking reference I'm... all the time on commentary at XCW. No, they were. Um... It, could, it could even be a boat. I was looking at um, some website that was touting uh, retro game mystery bags. And I love yeah. that the one disclaimer they have is, oh, remember, no sports games. <laughs> That's fair. Because if there's, if there's one thing that'll make a, game, a retro gamer's ball shrivel up, it's a fucking sports game. Yeah, I, I got a mystery bag with I mean, It pretty uh, much with does that for us. Was. Uh, it was Medal of Honor on GameCube, unfortunately. I, you know, I think it's the problem with most sports games. is like you've, just, you've seen one, you've seen them all. I was, no. yeah, was going to say, they, they get extremely repetitive after a while. Yeah, that's if, why we veto like, a lot of them. If, if it were, you know, one of the arcadey ones, you know, like a Jam or a Blitz or a Hits. Or yeah. A, or, you know, or if we somehow magically played uh, Mutant League Hockey or Football. Yeah, yeah. Or, which unfortunately or, was a Genesis release, so that'll that won't be or, happening yeah. on this show. You know, or, what, you know, once once we're done with one of these console runs, I uh, I'm I am proposing Neo Geo. I hope you and Neo Geo are very happy together then. <laughs> <laughs> Neo Geo. I said I am proposing, not proposing to. <laughs> Neo Geo, will you make me will you make me the happiest gamer on earth? <laughs> That'll be I mean, for the, for the yeah, for the price of that console, you are practically okay. buying an engagement ring. So yeah, you are proposing to a Neo Geo at that Basically, point. Basically, yeah. Oh, and if you want a cartridge, <laughs> you might as well, you <laughs> might as well get a used car. You know, yeah, what? basically, I, if you buy a Neo Geo, you you're not gonna get be getting a wife. So <laughs> I I just want to say one thing. Ouya, if you're listening, will you make me the happiest man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how, I, I, how do you? Zemo, how do you... <laughs> I love you. Oh wait, I'm sorry. That wasn't me. That was Uncle Derek who said that. Stadia, will you make me the happiest? <laughs> Stadia. <laughs> Stadia. Um, Soldier Boy, Amazon Con Luna. <laughs> Soldier, Soldier, Boy Soldier Boy, God, the Soldier game. <laughs> <laughs> Will you try not to make me go to jail with your fucking illegal software? Roms. <laughs> uh, Pretty sure he actually got in legal trouble from Nintendo. Yes, he that. did. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't just Nintendo. It was also other companies as well. Yeah. Uh, we are handheld oh, retro yeah. gaming console. Will you make me the happiest man? Actually, oh, the ever actually, the Evercade's back. good. I was going to yeah, say, let me back get some good stuff. The Evercade's actually not bad. Never mind. Yeah, and it's legal. Yeah. <laughs> the Evercade actually is legal. It was never meant to be, you know, a big console, but it's like, here, you, you, we're going to put some retro games on these multi cards. The thing is, it caught on very well. It did. Right. Although I will say, I am loving this new trend of modern updated ports of classic games from these companies. Um, because by far, Natsume... You are knocking it out of the park. Uh -huh. Like, like, like freaking the Ninja Warriors, um, Pocky and Rocky Reshine, uh, uh, Reshrined. Um, I think they're doing Legend of Kage next or something. I think, ooh. or or something Kage. I don't know. I I saw the trailer on Sega's YouTube and I was like, it's ooh. Legend. Um, they they've been knocking it out of the park, but they're not the only ones doing it because like another company recently did joe and mac i guess we I are guess, we out of time i guess we can <laughs> uh, yeah we are out of time but i i got disconnected there from you guys for a second <laughs> oh geez yeah oh, speaking uh speaking of trailers uh, let me re real quickly try a, a different let's see what giga tetris is if it's, you're a giga chat oh 
This looks the oh, same. Oh, we have to make nothing but Tetrises? I don't know. Now, now I'm like, let me look up Tetris 64 because clearly I'm missing something here. You're, you're thinking of the uh, Tetris Cube or whatever it is. The Tetris Cube. Um, well, Tetris okay. Theory, well, uh... for, for oh, one, oh my God. That's Giga okay. Tetris. Well, Bio Tetris don't work uh, for you anyway. You know why? Oh, because you need the, the fucking bio thing? The bio sensor that only was sold with Tetris 64 in Japan. Oh, this is weird. And plugs into the controller pack. Uh. Oh. Uh, these are, uh, these are Tetris, <laughs> Tetris size on steroids. I'm. It's a red rocket! <laughs> red rocket. Oh, yeah, day pockets. So anyway, Tiger R Zone, will you make me the happiest game in life? Watch one, oh. the handheld one, or the one that goes on your head, because there were two yeah. versions. The handheld yeah. hand one, the fart one. With, the fart one with mm. the poopies. <laughs> the one that, the one that you, you had to use the. Oh the no! One that you need to oh no! The apparently. one that gave you massive migraines and shit. Okay. Uh. Speaking nope. of trailers. Yes, yeah. I used to live in one. Yes, I get it. Huh? What? Ah, shut up, Mike. No. <laughs> um, the trailer show. for Beetlejuice 2 dropped. Mm. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, eh, I don't know about this one. I think the nostalgia goggles are kind of like making I mean, people... Well, it's just a trailer, so can't really judge much off of it. No, I know. I I fail to understand I mean, how I, how lines are made in this in this mode. Personally, kind of arbitrary. <laughs> I mean, personally, I want to see the Beetlejuice sequel. I mean, I'm curious, but I also see a lot of movies that are made, you know, partially oh, or entirely in May uh, in Massachusetts. Well, okay. Okay. I, you, you know what? You're surviving a lot longer in this mode than I thought you were going to based off of the initial shock yeah. of giant pieces. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, Mike, is a, Mike has always been a very good Tetris and Tetris adjacent player. I mean, hell. He, I mean, hell. He beat. He almost beat Hattress. That is true. And Hattress is kind of difficult. Oh, really? You're going to give me a giant hero instead of the regular size one that I need? Fuckers. Yeah, I Jack, you jackass. I know. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, you know what? It could be worse. Imagine if they gave you a giant square piece. Oh, that would... Don't, don't jinx. Don't tempt, <laughs> don't, jinx. Please don't tempt the... Uh, don't tempt the gods. Don't tempt the Tetris god. Line piece. Line piece. <laughs> So, so you want a square piece, do you? Well, uh, I think that was a college humor bit uh, where the Tetris god was watching over a game of Tetris. And it's like, oh no, he's getting cocky. It's a line piece! Line piece! <laughs> I, I think I remember that. Yeah. yeah. God damn it. He's, he's throwing line ones. pieces down at him like Zeus throwing thunderbolts. <laughs> Ooh, thunderbolt and lightning. Very, very frightening. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, you. Okay. Have confidence. Uh. Speaking of her, uh. I just saw the. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I just saw right. the uh, game. The. the uh, Evil God. Yeah, Bio Tetris game. won't work, so I guess we only needed to figure out what Giga Tetris was. Yeah, and Giga Tetris yeah. is Tetris on crack. Something. It's freaking weird. <laughs> That's on Tetris on the steroids. That's on Tetris 64, Dane. Um, it's Tetris. It's always fun. Giga Tetris seemed like a very interesting concept. I was enjoying it. Yeah, this is a good game. Uh, Jason. This is one of the closest experiences you could have in real life. 
to uh, arcade Tetris at home because this was made by Seta Software. Yes. Uh, who made a lot of the arcade Tetrises and uh, are usually considered the gold standard for Tetris tournaments. Although a lot of that's shifted back to NES Tetris. And you know what? Good for them because uh, only wusses use the reserve piece slot. Billy. Okay. I like Tetris. I'm sure you do. I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, there's actually a, there's actually a, another Tetris that came out in North America on the N64 that I, that we'll be getting to later on down it's the line. It's on the board, on the uh, on the wheel. Is it? Yep, magical Tetris challenge. No, I'm not talking about that one. There's a different one that I'm talking about that's actually just Tetris, and because I think magical Tetris challenge is uh, Tetris Attack. But um, uh, no, that one I thought was Disney. Like Disney, Disney Tetris Disney. Attack, yes. Um, no, Tetris Attack uh, was Pokemon Puzzle It's League. Panel de Pawn is what it is, right? Yeah, Tetris Attack is Panel de Pawn, and that was Pokemon Puzzle League. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Magical Tetris Attack is also Panel de Pawn. <laughs> um, in any event, the game Panel I'm referring to is the new Tetris, which is coming later on, which is a traditional Tetris game um, with, with some extra features like the reserve piece like being able to form big gold and silver bricks and i i prefer that one uh but this is not bad this is pretty good scores out of 10 dane eight jason eight billy nine i'm gonna give it an eight as well um it, it would have gotten a nine if we got to see bio tetris but that that would be pretty rare would have been a nine if it wasn't for those. No, this is kids. this is Seda, not rare. <laughs> also, I dropped the picture in the chat. Magikaru Tetris, okay, featuring so right Mickey. Mickey. I, I for some reason thought it was Panel de Pawn. It's it's a Capcom arcade game that got ported to Nintendo sixty four and PlayStation. It's Crapcom. I saw. All right, Chase, I'm I saw, Corona, I saw I saw a Corona game today. Ooh, what game? Evil God Corona. Here. Yes, oh, I have that on Steam actually. Okay. There's also uh, there's also another horror game with Hocho Marine. Oh. Hocho Marine. Yeah, the the one with Hocho Marine is. Uh, I gotta look at my Steam to figure it out. Because uh, I've got like five hundred nope. plus games. No blind. Nice, nice particle effects. Top Gear Overdrive. Uh, I, I think I rented this one. Somebody needs to get that this car to a dentist. <laughs> uh, somebody looks. Is that a British car? Is that an Alfa Romeo? Not sure. Do I have to show you the book the of big British book smiles? Of British smiles. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Uh, yeah. The other game is called Truth of Beauty, which Marines treasure ship. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's another horror game involving Hollow Live characters. Oh. Yeah. Eating Mike Tyson's ass. Oh no! <laughs> you start to Please stop the saying to eat the Mike Tyson's ass. <laughs> wow! I died. It's I am dead. Cody. I, I, what? yeah. All right, everybody, I save. Died. Thank you. Let's think all together now. You are dead. I'm Thank dead. You, dead. Oh, oh, okay. Careful, careful. Oh. And now it's time for a biology oh, you're, lesson. You're, you're, you're a Dale Earnhardt. Oh. Oh. What? Human is... What? Oh, you're Paul Walker. Uh, it's... it's... <laughs> Jesus. Corone is human. Human is turtle. So Corone is turtle? I... You know, I I just I don't get it. 
I really don't get it. Like, it, it, <laughs> it was a stream in which she played Super Mario Brothers on the NES, and the stream would stop if she did not speak English. And at the time, she did not speak much English. Like, she goes, oh, what is this? You know, referring to a pipe. And people type in the chat, pipe. And she goes, pipe. Pipe. Pipe, <laughs> pipe, pipe. pipe. <laughs> yeah, you know, and she just would ramble pointless things that did not make any sense. Like, she's playing another water level in Mario, and she's got fire Mario, and she goes, water in the fire. What? Water in the fire! Why? I don't understand. That was actually two separate clips that I spliced together. Uh, because those are two different buttons on I, my soundboard. <laughs> I understand that you and Billy find this kind of thing hysterical, but I just look at it like... Okay. Uh -huh. so, uh, uh -huh. the, it, it makes... Well, then. It, it makes Dane's brain go... <laughs> It causes <laughs> what you're saying. What you're saying is it causes pain to Dane, but mainly in the brain. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. yeah. Professor, Higgins. fucking Professor Higgins over here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the hills are alive with the sound of bullshit. All right. <laughs> well, first of all, that's two different shows, you jackass. I don't care. And Professor Higgins <laughs> is in uh, uh, Adventure Island. No. I mean, he is, but... I well, mean, he is, but he's not not the Professor Higgins I'm talking about. Yeah, Dane's a theater guy. Oh. Come on, Billy. <laughs> you know what? Not it amazes me, the skybox in this game and how it moves. <laughs> and also, decent soundtrack for an N64 title. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. 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 You are correct, sir, yes. <laughs> There was a what was there? There was an N sixty four game that it was just all of it was um, bug race racing. Uh, yeah, it was Volkswagen it was bug. Volkswagen Beetle racing. It had kind of a cartoony cover. Hmm. It was actually not a bad game. Why does this song sound yeah. like Alice in Chains? I was gonna say it's it's got very much like Spoonman vibes. That's Soundgarden, but yeah, it's same era. Yeah. No, like this. This is like peak '90s grunge. Let's uh, let's all sing along. No excuses that I know. Yeah, damn it! I, don't, work down don't make me go upstairs and get some scissors or scissors spoons. <laughs> Stop thinking about daddy ass, Jason. <laughs> exactly. I was re I was waiting once again the fucking Zuni French doll from Jersey a Terror. I might have I might have asked Mike to do this before, but can we get a picture of the Zuni fetish doll? Look at this yeah. look at this if I saw this fucking thing <laughs> running around in my house, I would burn the house down. <laughs> laughing so hard I'm turning into Tony Atlas. Give a lady with high heels to step on my face. Mogus just put out a road map. Oh, space Oh, that that was a beautiful oh, uh god promotional thing that uh, they stuck in Among Us actually. The Benoit Blanc costume. Um, uh, mm. uh, uh whoops. N64.exe has uh, stopped working due to the music. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Oh, there it is. Oh, never mind. It, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ah, Jesus! <laughs> I am now. What's an, X, what's an X64 error? I don't get it. 
<laughs> I could have sworn I was using a Windows 10 PC. Like, what is this X64 that they're talking about? There's no cartridge slot on this thing. I was, listen, I run my PC with Windows 95. <laughs> All right. Maybe if I turn the music down. Success. Maybe that'll I'm work. I've turned the music all the way say, down. Uh, I think that probably ooh. was doing it, the what was doing it. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. So apparently I was right. The music was what was doing that. You know, I thought that sign said Easter, not faster. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> ain't, none fast, ain't none faster than Easter, I'll tell you that. I, this is the best car in the game. I immediately bought it after that last race. Ain't nothing... Ain't what the fuck? Whoa. I accidentally shortcut. <laughs> Secret <laughs> tunnel! Secret tunnel! <laughs> oh my, oh my god, Easter, the Chilean is... miners are down here. <laughs> speaking of Easter, speaking of Easter, this is the cave where Jesus came back. <laughs> oh my god. I just love how every little thing makes something explode in this game. I know, too. it's fucking weird. Oh my god. Oh, like a... So wait, so it's a flaming lip song? Everything's explode. Oh, <laughs> you blew up the other guy. <laughs> this is uh, what button's nitrous? Oh, it's Z. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's 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 the button that made you explode. <laughs> Perhaps you shouldn't do. That. <laughs> oh, I'm going back into Chilean mine again. <gasps> oh, fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> I was going to say the Lord has risen, but not anymore. <laughs> the Lord went back to sleep. <laughs> Lord, uh, like, fuck the this. The force rises from its nap. Oh, I don't... I'm too old for this shit. Get into the covered bridge. Thank you. I didn't know this so, was so uh, Ohio, by the way. <laughs> I, I had a uh, crazy-ass idea that I might have to do, but I need to get another bottle uh, that I can put it in. Oh, crazy. Um, Christ but, checks. Uh, Christios. I, I saw... Uh, Christ checks is better. I saw a uh, sweet tea flavored vodka. That's one. And I thought, what if I combined that with peach sour patch kids? Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I, I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like that manic Canadian dude who puts stuff Boy in enough. jars with booze. You know, like a little bit of that leaked into my brain. I think I actually Boy have enough. to finish first in both of these it's, races in order to keep it's going. Kind of, it's the thing where it's like, I'm not an expert on different kinds of drinks, so I, I have no idea. But, but the idea it. of putting peach candy in sweet tea flavored vodka... Would make peach tea flavored vodka, in theory. If if peach tea vodka is a thing already, I don't know. I. I... Oh my god! I don't bartend legitimately. I. I... You, you've been watching that guy that puts all that candy and stuff in like different spirits. There is. So there's a I mean, I've, I've got bottles upon bottles of booze that I've done that to myself. <laughs> Well, I'll I'll tell you what, Jace. They apparently Tito's vodka makes a peach tea flavor. Okay, so peach tea vodka, but with additional peach candy put in there, should be even better. I mean, I did Malibu strawberry rum with strawberry sour patch kids, like how and that I was exploded amazing. Before I hit anything that time, at least. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, praise be unto him. Firefly brand peach tea vodka. God, and, I, I understand the Top Gear branding because I'm driving like Jeremy Clarkson. You're kidding me? You're driving more like Billy Joel. <laughs> I'm not, I can't be driving like Billy Joel. There's nobody's house to plow into. Driving like Paul Walker, Ryan Dunn. Oof. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> so much carnage. Yeah. 
Come on. Are you sure we're not playing Carmageddon over here? <laughs> if you got decapitated in, in, the, in the wreck, you, 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 you would be uh, uh, like um, uh, a burst of heart to taste mom. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Billy. What? Just stop. She got into a car accident, too. I'm aware. Just stop. <laughs> I disappeared. There we go. It didn't even blow up that time. I just disappeared. Disappeared. I'll be right back. I'll be left drink. front. Okay. So, uh, Billy, we'll be right back. There we go. Oh, Mark must be very happy. They announced Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy about that. Um... I'm so happy I got 27 more hockey jerseys. I mean, Dane would know. Dane's talked to me more recently than all of us. <laughs> I, th right. I, think the, I think the episode he's on of uh, Performers I Know is coming up soon. In like a week or two. Um, yeah, yeah, June 9th. Yeah. So by the time this airs, you'll have seen it. Those of you out there watching, it'll be up already. And oh boy, the episode with Ashley Miller. Yeah. Ashley Miller, no need to fill her. Two dicks thrill her. What? I don't know. Thoughts on Top Gear Overdrive, Dane? Well, um,. Certainly a lot of explosions in at top speed. Very explodey, yes. Very explodey. Um it's it's a looked like a fun little uh part in the expression car crash of a game. <laughs> nice little uh, <laughs> nice little popcorn popcorn game to to get high and laugh at with your friends. I would I would find it uh, uh, immensely difficult to Consume popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. God cop, damn it! Popcorn. <laughs> oh, we're all bastards. We're all bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember oh. the point I was trying to make. Hey, Jason, Tangle and cash. Tangle and cash. Oh. Jason, thoughts on this fucking game? I mean, uh. It's an all right game, you know. This was worth a rental back in the day. Uh, you know, now, nowadays I would probably play the game with cheats, uh, use turbo as much as possible, and explode constantly. Uh, and it's that what point, I was it's doing. Less of a racing game and more of a Ryan Dunn simulator. Oof. <laughs> Too soon. Uh, yeah. Really? Because it's... it's been over ten years. That's, that's fair. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no, it's totally okay to make fun of the dead after 10 years. It's fine. <laughs> You're right. Uh, yeah, no, this is, uh, that was actually a lot of fun to play, despite, you know, constantly exploding. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Scores out of 10, Dane? Seven. Jason? Seven. Yeah, I'll give it a seven as well. It, it's Billy's it's not totally room. okay after 10 years, so... Uh, Albert Einstein, free free reign to, to make fun of his death. Yeah, sure. Did he die of natural causes? He he died of stupid things. So natural oh, causes? Yeah, stupid things. <laughs> Alrighty. I walk into living room to live ninety nine. I walk into living room to get some pizza. My one year old niece is here, and she looks right at me and goes, Bleh! "Okay." <laughs> So she's she's possessed by Pazuzu. E e e e e e. e. Uh, veto. Veto initiated. Dane, Billy. Yeah. Veto. Veto, veto complete. Down to three. Bruh. Come on. All right. Stop that. <laughs> Love that modern jazz. Spin it again. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this fucking NHL wheel. 99. This <laughs> fucking <laughs> wheel. <laughs> this fucking wheel. Uh, <laughs> it's not Wayne Gretzky. I'm saying e, veto. E, 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 veto e, e, initiated. Dane and Billy. Go <laughs> ahead. Um, uh, Billy says, go ahead, Dane. No. You know what? No. I want to watch some hockey. So there. All right. Veto declined. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining Billy and Jay staring at this. He's like, fucking Dane. <laughs> Dane, you're I'm home because, you know. Dane, you're I, a cunty, 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 cunt. <laughs> Good thing I'm home because I have all the booze in front of me right now. Yeah, direct all your booze at Dane. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, the one I I veto to veto once, and this is the first time. Like, let's. You know what? I I just have a question though about that veto veto. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about cooks? What about dicks? Well, well, random Asian woman, I don't know. Uh, I think she's in California. Definitely uh, not Asian from what I've seen from the pictures because she's actually gone on camera recently. Uh, oh, she's whiter than us. All right, yeah. so uh, I guess we'll just do as we normally do, like the default. So it's the Capitals and the Red Wings. Yay, yeah. Wings! Yay! Go, go, Capital Wings. Go, Red Washington. Oh, thank hey, you God. Don't have to play. I don't have to play. Thank <laughs> God for that. Red Lisa Wings. Simpson. Is Lisa Simpson okay? You know what? Now I will never be able to freaking unsee that. Corona laughing is sounds like Lisa Simpson. Olaf, this is Olaf. Olaf, he is early. You are Sven. He is early. You are Sven. And around you, sick little monkey. <laughs> Don't whiz on the electric fence. Whiz on, on the electric fence. Whiz on the electric fence, didn't you? <laughs> or if you uh, if you watch the you if you watch the classic YouTube poop, whiz on red. Yeah. <laughs> Don't whiz on me, Steve. He crushes him. Murphy. Oh, I miss him. Mur Murphy. What about Simon? Oh yeah, Dane. I uh, I posted a picture oh, of not, uh, all of my. Fan. Oh Candy God! Used boozes. The puck went into the crowd. Um, I didn't know the wrestler hand. Kozlov was a Detroit Red Wing. Uh, Wed 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 Wing? You want to try that Wed again, Wing. Jason? <laughs> I did it. I did uh, it. No, with a Wed Wing. We will get to die with. <laughs> I I I, 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 I briefly became Doctor Why. We find no. Doctor Why. We. You, see, you know, I'm looking at this picture Sports of your... Sports games give me strokes. I can't help it. I'm looking at this picture of your vast Taste the Rainbow collection. And it's hard for me to comment because it's like, okay, it's blue. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's blue Sour Patch. Blue. Oh, uh, wow. It was a... The, uh... the, the first five are Sour Patch Kids whiskeys. It was a Ooh. hit dance pop song from 1999 by the Italian band Eiffel 65, uh, <laughs> in which the video featured blue aliens, one of which ended up becoming having a solo career. Yay, Jeff Brown scored. That is not a joke. The alien from the blue video had his own solo career with his own song. Wow. I wanna be, the, be be far away, eh, eh, so I can be, the name be, of the song, be here at home. The name of the song was "I'm Gumby." Damn it! <laughs> no, but that would be hilarious. I would, I would, I would definitely watch that. My name is I am Gum Gum Gumby. Damn, damn, damn. 
<laughs> sung by Rob S Ron Simmons. Now this, come on now, come on, fellas. This game isn't that bad. Come on, you're you're. I had being, uh, for years. Not Wayne Gretzky. Oz, no, uh, it's not Wayne Gretzky, but it's not like. No. Um, it's not double dribble. <laughs> bubble, bubble. Double dribble. Double dribble. Double dribble. Yeah, but if I watch too much of this, I'm going to double dribble right all over my shirt. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Come on. You just let... yeah, I, I lost interest in hockey the minute the Bruins were out of it. Like forever? So got, uh, the Bruins got, lose got one game and it's like, that's, that's it. I give up on hockey as a Florida. sport. <laughs> Fuck <Listen>. Florida. <laughs> I wouldn't. That's how you get disease. It, it, well, if it makes you feel better, James... <laughs> There's a extremely good chance that the Celtics are probably going to win the NBA Finals. This is like the first time, or at least one of the rare times, that it seems like both the East and West will sweep their divisions in the Finals. If it makes, it, if, if it makes you feel better, Jason, sloppy blowjobs. I know that makes me feel better. <laughs> crunk, crunk. Takes the puck away. Say crunk. <laughs> Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Well, getting back to the NBA for a second. Because barring Boston completely shitting the bed and losing four straight, I don't think they're going to be losing to the Pacers. And I... Yeah, looks like uh, Dallas versus uh, Boston. Boston. And I just... Yeah. Uh, I just, I yeah, can't. my favorite player, Puck. <laughs> for years, I had an Osgood jersey. Game on, everyone. He was my favorite player for years. He was your but favorite, favorite player. But it sat out in the in the in the weather and and for years, and then became Osbad. <laughs> no, I, I outgrew it because I had it when I was ten. You know what? You know what? Like, I'm, I'm, I you could have said. You could have said I outgrew it because I had it when I was 35, and I would have believed you. That's true. <laughs> I like I. So anyway, well, at least he's Oz Good and not Oz Spray. I. What, what, what are you talking Can about? Can you bro? imagine a hockey game with flippy shit? <laughs> Suddenly, fucking you... Mario Lemieux does a goddamn shooting star press. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh my god, did did Yager, Yager just do a hurricane rana? <laughs> what point did it Asai moonsault? Oh, uh, Billy, did you happen to see WrestleTuber this past weekend? No. Is that, yeah, where, Bird is that where you had a big is, thing? Hold on, is that where you wrestle? And wrestling? Oh, is that where you wrestle oh, potatoes? Oh, Bird and, uh, <laughs> he wrestled Billy, Tuber. Yeah, they, I, they, uh, what was that, Billy? She said she was going to do that. I was at work, so I couldn't really watch it all that much. Yeah, uh, we had a beautiful little reunion between Doki Bird and Mint Phantom. Great pass. Uh, oh, who, I, I don't know. Pre <laughs> they previously yeah. worked together yeah. for the evil company Niji Sanji. You know, a lot of a lot of those Mint, people have been going over to the V Sojo. Yeah, Mint quit. Uh, Sanji, all you said to me was 2D 3D. Tootie <laughs> <laughs> Fruity? Yeah, all Rudy. Well, uh ba basically uh back in February, uh Mint quit Niji Sanji. Uh she was the extremely popular uh Pomu Rainpuff. And, oh my God! Uh, Steve Cunnawalingus just scored a goal. <laughs> Cunnawal, Cunnawal Chuck. How much Cunnawal? How, how much wall could how wall? How many walls could Wall Chuck Chuck if Cunnawal Chuck would Chuck walls? Seven, seventeen of them. <laughs> how many <laughs> walls <laughs> could a Wall Chuck Chuck if a, if Cunnawal Chuck could Chuck walls? That's great. I will be right back. Cunnawal about to chung chung. <laughs> Everybody kind of want to chung tonight. <laughs> oh, Michael Michelle Pavunka. Michelle Pavunka. You want to pour? Uh, wait, you want to perform kind of like us on Connie Chung? Are you Maury Povich? Yeah. Sure. 
<laughs> Turns out I am the father. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My my clothes went into Kali Chung's bouchouche. <laughs> into her vagina. <laughs> into her into her vagina. Oh, he, oh. oh Juno, Alaska. <coughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I looked up uh, Eiffel sixty-five, and I'm not disappointed. And why is that? <laughs> Because it's uh, one more well, than Eiffel 64. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eiffel 64. Released by I'm Capcom. Red. <laughs> I'm red. If I was Chinese, I'd be dead. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, apparently at one point, uh, two of the members had their own uh, group called Bloom 06. Yes. Okay. Continuing the, uh, you know, trend of word random number. Random word number, yeah. Which, by the yeah. way, Eiffel 65, the number was a typo. They chose the name Eiffel randomly uh, using a random word generator. And then their demo tape had the number 65 on it, and they thought that the execs thought that was part of their name. So they weren't intended to have the number at the end of the name, but... Yeah, it apparently happens. the producer had written a phone number on a piece of paper, and two digits of it ended up on the label copy. The graphic artist received it and assumed it was added afterwards, so he fused it to the band name. Oh, so that's kind of like how uh, Electric Light Orchestra's first album, it was called No Answer. And um, that was apparently not the name that was it was supposed to be. So apparently, the, a record executive asked somebody who was on the phone, oh, did Electro Leg Orchestra, Orchestra give the uh, name for their album? And the guy wrote down no answer and passed it to the other guy, meaning they hadn't answered them yet. But the guy was like, oh, okay, I guess that's the name of the album. No answer. <laughs> <laughs> Federal? Federal? No. <laughs> Uh, all alone in a time yeah. of need. Oh no! Oh no! Oh there. That's uh, Turn that's uh, much similar to Electric Light Orchestra's second album. Who gives a shit? Stop ask asking me. <laughs> this 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 and then the announcer in the game is trying oh, way too hard. Shit. Sir Doogie, better off. Better off. Better off. <laughs> and. And, nobody, be rude rude. and who can forget Electrolyte Orchestra's third album God damn it Steve if you ask me one more time I'm going to beat the shit out of you And it was at that point he, The lead singer decided fuck this I'm joining the traveling Wilburys <laughs> It's true Yeah Jeff Lynne was in the traveling Wilburys no, but Not a lot of people remember that Because everybody remembers oh it was Roy Orbison and Tom Petty And uh, Jeff Lynne What the fuck it. Yeah, Jeff Flynn, what is he doing in there? I'm all these, I'm all I, love, these black. I love how the referee there is literally just a ghost on the screen. A ghost! Clipped right through him. Yeah. It's true. Well, you know how they say the best referees, you don't even notice them? Well, he's even better than that. You phase right <laughs> yeah, you through You can him. phase right through him. Is there a man? No. He is never in the way. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh baby. <laughs> because he because he has no corporeal form. <laughs> That's an icing penalty called, even though I had penalties turned all the way down. So that was a rare penalty called. This guy's a human wall in there. Especially at a wrestling match. If you don't see the ref throughout the match. It's actually a good match. Yeah, you know what I mean. If you don't see the if you don't see the rap, then it's all all hell's gonna break loose. That's why Aubrey Edward, Edwards gets a lot of shit. Because she she's not on uh, screen all the time. Yeah, because she said tends to end up being the center of attention a lot. The play goes offside. I don't know. 
Well, yeah. Well, like she's a ref who actually does her job. Like, she's the one ref in AEW who I think has never, you know, missed something or screwed up a call. Like, nobody starts shit in front of Audrey because they're going to get freaking kicked out. I, her, well, her name is Aubrey. Unless you're referring Aubrey. to the plant from Little Shop of uh, Horrors. Then definitely don't start shit in front of that, yeah. You get okay, I've been dealing eaten. with a massive migraine all day, so... <laughs> Chris Jericho! Listen, don't, be nice today. No, no, don't no. call him massive migraine. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't feed Audrey because Chris Jericho ate all the food. Yeah, it looks like. Thoughts on NHL 99, Dane? It really wasn't that bad. I mean, I'm not saying that it's a great game, but I guess because I'm a hockey fan... I was enjoying it, so it wasn't terrible. Uh, Jason. Uh, e e e e e. <laughs> Billy. Okay. All things considering, it was not boring. That's fair. Uh, yeah, it's a hockey game. Kind of like I said earlier, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. There's only very, very few exceptions in this case. Uh, I guess the equivalent of an NFL Blitz or an NBA Jam in this case would be Wayne Gretzky. But this is not that. It's just a standard hockey game. EA did an, did an admirable job. It's fine. It's not shitty. It's fine. Scores out of 10, Dane. Five. Jason. Two. Billy. I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to give it a five as well. On this edition of the show, we play Tetra 64, Top Gear Overdrive, and NHL 99. Best game of the episode, Dane. I'll say Tetris. Jason. Uh, I like explosions, so Top Gear. Billy. I like I like um, uh, puzzles, so Tetris. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Tetris, so Tetris wins. Thanks uh, for watching. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford Joan, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. See you next time. Good night, everybody.